friends welcome to my video in this video we will see how to translate any text either from english or some other language to a different language so in this we will take a translation from english to german arabic and korean uh, and see how we can develop that so let's begin so in the android uh, studio environment first and foremost i'll create a probably an empty activity a simple layout and i'll say translator app Okay, you can name this anything. I'll leave API level 32 and click finish. Wait for my environment to load. In the meantime, I'll let uh, I'll let you know I'll let you know that most of the steps in this uh, tutorial I have taken from this particular page of uh, uh, Google Developers, where I'll be using the ML kit uh, provided by Google to translate the text. Okay, so let's uh, wait for the environment. Perfect. So it seems like my environment has come up. So I will also start the emulator in parallel on the left hand side so it can load uh, uh, in parallel and also I will uh, okay first and foremost we have to update our gradle file to include a particular library so again we can copy paste that uh, implementation from here only uh, from this page I will put the link of this page also in my uh, description below please refer to it okay so over here what we can do is we can add this dependency and then click sync now it may take a while uh, depending upon your network and uh, uh, yeah how much time it takes to download the uh, uh, respective library wait for this sync now to complete and i'll go back to my layout in the meantime so in the layout file what i'll do is okay i think the Gradle is synced, so because that uh, top bar is gone, so this is synced, perfect, okay. And in this uh, layout, we'll keep the layout pretty simple, okay, the emulator has also come up on the right hand side, but I'll just minimize it for the time being, so that I get more space in middle uh, to do my work. So in this layout perspective, I think uh, this text view, most likely I'll keep it, because I'll use this to display my output, the translated text, so I'll just change it or give it an ID. And give it some kind of or, or increase its size. Say, for example, increase the size from 14 to uh, 24, so it's more visible. And yeah, that's all is what I guess. And um, now I'll put uh, another edit text or plain text, which from which I'll take the input from the uh, user, the text which he or she wants to translate. So this I'll put on the top over here somewhere, and probably a little down. And again, I'll give this an ID. Okay, so there's already some ID already given, but I think I'll just modify it uh, to a simpler version and uh, give the constraints. Remove this. I don't think I need any kind of text and give some kind of hint. Uh, so enter the. Okay, I'll, I think I'll translate only from English to other languages. I'll say English text here. Okay, but this works with any. Uh, combination of the two languages i think they support around 49 or 50 languages it keeps uh, they keeps changing just refer to the overview pages uh, yeah but uh, nevertheless uh, i think uh, i have put this text uh, text box now i'll put few buttons which will translate I, I can also put a drop down menu but i think since only three languages are there so i think uh, i'm trying to convert or translate from english to languages such as uh, uh, german arabic and korean is what i'm thinking so uh, and why I've chosen these three languages because the scripts of these three languages are completely uh, different. So, uh, Arabic has a very different forms. So, I want to show how it comes up and whether it's right or wrong. To be honest, I don't know these languages. So, but yeah, it will be a good exercise for me to see. Okay, I'm giving the constraints for each of these buttons. I, I'll also put this uh, app on my Play Store and I'll give the link in my description. You can also try out the app before uh, doing this uh, as per the tutorial uh, like the way i'm showing the tutorial you can try out how this app works or not or whether it meets your expectations or not all of this you can try out yeah okay so i've made this a little bigger and yeah perfect okay so once i've done this now what else can i do is i can go to my java code and you can create three public method public for each of these buttons so public void button uh, german and view view okay and similarly i can control c control v control v control v so the second one could be for arabic i guess 
and the third one could be for Korean or Korean. Again, you can use any combinations of the language. So I'm, but here I'm trying to maintain some kind of uh, simplicity. I'll just uh, yeah convert into uh, from English to German to Arabic and Korean. Okay, so come to this on click attribute and over here one by one. Yeah, update this on click attribute for this button so that whenever these buttons are uh, pressed, uh, that particular method in the Java code is uh, executed. Okay, perfect. Once done it, now I think we can start our coding. So I'll go back to the Java Java code. Yeah, first and foremost, what I'll do is I'll create few class variables uh, for my widget items. So say for example, uh, I think we need one edit text. Uh, to capture the input from the user and the other one could be the text view to display the output from the user and in this on click create method I will find you by id r dot id dot edit text text view find you by id r dot id dot text view okay perfect Perfect. Now we'll create few of the translators. So again, we can create a uh, private class variables. Okay. And so translator to German will need. Okay. German. I think it, I have to press Alt Enter to import that class. And uh, I think they are giving two options. So I'll go with this MATLAB uh, uh, kit one. And yeah, perfect. Okay, so similarly, I'll need for other languages. So one was, uh, other one was Arabic, and the third one was Korean. Now uh, we can also create few of the boolean variables, uh, which will tell whether we can really uh, uh, start translations or not for these languages. So whether these packages are downloaded or not. So boolean is uh, uh, okay, I'll just put German and again, uh, I think I'll control C, control V, uh, yeah, I'll do it for Arabic. Korean. <laughs> now in the own create, we can create a few other translator options. Translator. Options. So translator options to again I will use for all the three languages one by one German new translator options. So just a note all these steps are also in this particular page you can just uh, keep doing this so I'm basically doing uh, this particular part I'm doing right now but yeah you can use uh, you can refer to my website as well uh, whichever you prefer okay so uh, in translator options dot builder and then one by one i can set different parameters say so for example source language so source language will be translated translate language from english so english is my source and from english so you can see there are lots of languages which which it uh, supports so target language will be again translate language dot and the translate language for this will be german of course yeah no 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 not georgian it will be german Perfect. And then I can just build it. Similarly, what I can do is I can create same translator options for uh, the other languages, which is Arabic. Arabic. But the only change I have to do is instead of German, I have to make it Arabic, the target language. And here it will be Korean. And again, the target language I'll change from German to Korean. Now I can update my trans, uh, translator with this translator option. So I can just use one by one translate uh, translator. Probably I'll start again. Start with uh, German. So translator German should be translation dot get client. And in the get client, the attribute which I have to give is I think the translator options. Yeah, perfect. So uh, this will be the options for German. Similarly, I'll do it for control C, which one for Arabic and then for Korean. So I'll just Arabic and 
last one will be for code and here again I'll change translation options Arabic and the last one will be Korean perfect okay now once we have done it then we have to download download the package the download the required uh, translation models or package uh, in your uh, app okay so for that uh, we will uh, use something called download model but before that what we'll do is we'll keep a check whether download conditions are matched or not so download conditions download conditions and here we can check so certain download conditions so basically we have to check whether net conditions the internet is there or not so download uh, conditions dot no i think i should have done this way builder perfect and required okay so there are two options required charging or required wi-fi <coughs> So I think uh, charging when uh, your phone is on charge and it's not on battery mode. But I think uh, most of the times these days uh, we have good phones, so we can just use the Wi-Fi thing. I'm not sure why this is. Let me see what is it. So if I press S over here, perfect. So I got it. Okay. So one by one, now we can check uh, if this download condition. Okay, this is spelling was wrong, so I've corrected it. Uh, we can check whether we, we can trans, uh, download these translators or not but of course based on the conditions which we have just not defined so we can download if needed is what we can download model if uh, needed I think we can use this one and then the download condition will be the one which we have just not defined perfect and then we can use add on probably one by one the success listener new on success perfect on success and we can also add on failure listener new on failure so here we can set our boolean flag so whatever we have defined here okay by default what we can do is we can set it to false because by default we'll assume that the packages are not uh, downloaded okay and uh, and over here for the German one, what we'll do is we'll make the Boolean German true true once this download if successful. Okay, and similarly we can do one by one for all the other languages. So one this one was for German, then Arabic, and then Korean. We have to just change it over here. I think the translator, which is the Arabic over here. And we can change this booleans. Arabic. Please be careful. Don't change uh, for some other language. Other one. Arabic. Uh, so this is just a prototype. I'm showing. This is not a good way. You should create uh, methods for each uh, kind of some kind of uh, uh, yeah methods uh, for where you can check for all languages to think. But here, since I'm just dealing with three languages, so it's possible to do it this way. Okay. Or probably what I can do is I can create it. In a, I can put this download part into a separate method. Let me see if it works or not. So I'll just do public void uh, probably. So what I'll do is I'll create a method called public void button download. I'll include one more button in my uh, layout download model, and also I'll create a private method private again this will be void. And this will be for download model. Perfect. So you have downloaded, brought it here, and most likely in the on create, I'll just call this method. Uh, once okay, so once done it, I'm getting some error. I think over here the error is because I have forgotten to give a local variable, uh, the attribute variable. Okay, and I think I'll have to create uh, another variable button over here somewhere, uh, probably in top corner. I'll create it, and in this on click attribute, I'll associate it with this button download and give some constraints and name this button as download model. I don't know if that 
long name will fit here. Let me see. We didn't fit, so I'll have to bring it somewhere in the center. Perfect. No. Okay, so I think most of the stuffs are done. Okay, on this button download, whenever it is pressed, I will just call this download model, uh, private method, whatever I have defined, uh, just on the top over here. Okay. Now in the button of each of these translation, now our job becomes pretty simple. So we will first check whether Boolean German that's true or not. And if it's true, I mean whether I mean whether I can translate or not. If we can translate, then we will translate the text. And for text, I think we'll take it from the edit text and get text dot to string. So whatever the user has entered, that is the uh, input. And we'll add the listener. So success listener again. So new no on success listener. And of course, I'll add the failure also. New on failure listener. Okay, perfect. And in this uh, success listener, when <coughs> if the text is successfully translated, then this text uh, string s will contain the translation. So what I'll do is I'll just set it, set text s. Okay, no, I think s is sufficient. And if it fails, then what I can do is I can set text as uh, exception. So whatever this exception is being thrown, I'll just convert it into two string and put it in our over here. Perfect. So I think that's all. I'll just use the same part in both for Arabic and uh, Korean. Of course, I'll change the only I have to change is the translation tra translator. Uh, so I'll change it to Korean over here. And this will things anyway remain same. This translator will anyway get the correct options uh, which we have uh, defined in the own fit method. So this will be Arabic. So if I go above for this, say for example, above in the on create on create attribute. So we have anyway created the translators based on the translators translator options from English to Arabic. So from here it will take these options. It will come here. No, it will come here. And if I scroll down in the method of the this button, it will come and click here. Perfect. So let me rerun this in the emulator. I think emulator I closed this somewhere below. So let it uh, let the app come up. And uh, yeah, hopefully it should work. So I'll wait for my app to load. <coughs> Perfect. So something has come up. I will just press the download button. I think uh, I don't need to press because this uh, uh, method download model method will be anywhere will anywhere run on create attribute, but just to be on safer side, I have run it. Now I just give some command. Hello could be the first one to start with. Okay, so I press hello and then I click on German. Okay, so nothing is happening. So I think uh, uh, if I go to the method, I think this method should have run. So if Boolean German, so I think this is not true. Uh, the translation has, the model has not been downloaded. That's why I try with some other uh, things. Nothing is happening because that's why uh, this is not going in this if loop. And that's why this on failure listener is, is not even being called. So. Let me rerun the app and see. Okay, I've restarted the app. Uh, let me see. I'll again put some text. Okay, so perfect. So now it's working. At least German one. I'll let me try the Arabic. Arabic is also working. Uh, okay, perfect. So all the three are working. So one thing which I noticed is like we may have to give some time for it to download the uh, models. Okay, this particular code to run. So for the first time when you're doing it, please give have some patience. Give it some time for it to download the uh, uh, model to the app okay so that's all i hope uh, this video is useful to you so it's pretty simple i'll put the code and all the details in my description on my website and this code is pretty simple you have to just use the translator i think this is the main part of the code Trans you have to create a translator options and then create a respective translators and that's all so i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section if you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.